Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to put together a dessert table or how to style a dessert table for a birthday party, wedding, anniversary, um, whatever celebration you have in mind. So the first thing I like to start with are my flat pieces. And these are rectangular, um, kind of like chargers, but they're you know rectangular. I got these at Michael's and I will be sure to leave that link down below and then the next thing I'm going to do is add my risers you can find these on Amazon and I, I will be sure to leave that link for those as well so I absolutely love to add risers because I like the variation and height um, on my tables and so um, that is what I like to do in order to give my table definition the next thing that I like to add are my cake pedestals I absolutely love these cake pedestals a lot of you guys have asked me about them and these are from opulent treasures now these do come in a group of three it has a tall a medium and a small one so I'm going to kind of add those in um, in the center of the table because I want the bling to be you know in the center of everything and then I have this cupcake stand and at the top you can do like a miniature table on the side and this cupcake stand is also from opulent treasures I will be sure to leave the link Link for them down below but I absolutely love all of their dessert pieces they are so absolutely elegant and classy I love all the bling on it I love the touch of silver and kind of an antique gold mix there but they just make incredible incredible pieces especially for your dessert table so I'm going to put those on the shorter pedestals and I want them to be on the end of each table then I'm going to scoot them up just a little bit because I like to have something in every space but I don't like the table to be too cluttered like I absolutely um, dislike clutter on the table um, I like for everything to kind of have a meaning and so um, once I get everything set I kind of like to take a step back to look at it to see if um, everything kind of you know is flowing the way that I want it to flow now I also love to add filler pieces such as these love um, um, signs that I have here now this is for a 10th wedding anniversary celebration so I'm gonna add these two love signs they were originally red and I painted them um, silver you may have remembered these in red in another video so that's another tip like if you guys have um, some type of filler that you can use you definitely want to you know use spray paint to change the look so you don't have to continue to buy things over and over and over and over again and so here is what the dessert table is looking like it is all set up everything is in place and I know exactly what desserts I'm gonna put where now one of the things that you may want to do is that you may want to like label each uh, pedestal or each plate so that you know where you're gonna put what treat and um, Rachel does a great job at styling the treats for me but if you are doing your own treats and you're doing your own styling you want to make sure that you do that now the next thing I'm gonna add are some floral centerpieces you guys remember these candlesticks I got them in a haul a while back at Ross so I'm gonna add the floral um, centerpieces on each of the taller cake pedestals because I want to bring the whole elegant look to the table I just think that you know um, for a wedding anniversary I would like for it to look a little bit more elegant and festive and fun and so there we have all of the basics in place um, also the balloon arch we added some flowers to that as well my friend Sharonda did this organic balloon or arch and it turned out absolutely fabulous and then we just went through and added the flowers the same flowers you see on the um, silver candlesticks we went in and added those flowers throughout the balloon arch to give them a very elegant look so there you have it guys that's how i set up my dessert table from start to finish after um, all the pieces are in place then that's when we um 
put all the desserts and all of the treats in place and it is so absolutely beautiful. I love for my desserts to coordinate with my decor. And so I always give Rachel like a swatch of the fabric that I'm using so that we can be in the same color family and everything turned out so absolutely beautiful. I will be posting the complete reveal for the complete room. So you wanna be sure that you tune in to watch that. On the cake, those brooches are from totallydazzle.com. I will be sure to leave that link down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your continuous support. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.